The art of selling is one of the most vital components of ring psychology when it comes to a wrestling match. Selling helps drive the story of a match, while also getting fans emotionally invested in the match itself, the story being told, and most importantly, the wrestlers in the ring. Over the years, there have been certain wrestlers that have gone above and beyond when it comes to selling a move or the effects of a match. Some have also gone over the top with it, but we've already touched on other sellers in the past. So for this list, we'll instead be highlighting those who are more realistic with their selling and how they bump for moves. As today, we look at 10 of the greatest bumpers and sellers in WWE history. Honorable mentions go to Rikishi who showed immense agility in the ring, especially any time he was turned inside out by a clothesline. <laughs> Terry Funk was known to oversell back in the day, but Funk was also one of the best realistic sellers there's ever been. <laughs> Shane McMahon wasn't the most skilled wrestler. One of his strong points, however, was the way he bumped and sold the impact of moves. And the Big Show gets a mention not because of his ability to cry on command, but instead because of how he made it look as though he was really in pain when he sold. Oh, Roman Reigns oh my goodness! Number 10, Spike Dudley. Spike was one of wrestling's most undersized underdogs, but you know what they say about the fight in a dog. Despite all the punishment he suffered, Spike always came back for more. No matter if he got put through a table, <laughs> launched into the crowd, or thrown onto the floor, Spike truly took some of the most vicious bumps. Number 9, Evan Bourne. The way he sold was very unique and realistic with his body going completely limp. Oh it would look as though Bourne had been absolutely steamrolled. His selling, coupled with his entertaining in-ring style, always made Bourne fun to watch. Even if he didn't achieve a massive amount of success in WWE. Top rope in the oh, what a spear! Number 8, Ricky Steamboat. Steamboat sadly had his career cut short due to injury, but that didn't stop him from having an incredible run in wrestling. The Dragon was a magnificent wrestler who sold tremendously, and this only added to the countless great matches he had. Oh no! Unconscious! He has to be totally out of it! Dragon in for the ride! Wow, caught one again! Oh, right outside and out of sight! Whoa, what a close line! It was amazing to see him turn back the clock during his comeback matches against Chris Jericho. These matches only left us wanting to see Steamboat back in the ring more often. And although this didn't end up happening, we can still appreciate the legacy of the Dragon and his iconic selling. Number 7, Ricochet. Ricochet has a great balance to the way he bumps and sells. Staring right at the champion! as he can make it look like he's just been run over, but does so in a realistic manner. McIntyre eliminates Ricochet! Count of six! Oh! oh into the post! The one and only is able to ragdoll his body around the ring like few others. So to the ear earlier on the match. Oh! oh my god! Sometimes you have to just sit back and marvel at Ricochet's incredible athleticism. Cesaro rolled out oh! the way! Uppercut to I mean Ricochet! Still in this matchup. Lombard check oh, oh by Alexander! God. McIntyre with a... Oh! oh! Number 6, Jeff Hardy. Jeff featured in so many of wrestling's most death-defying spots. It's hard to imagine the real-life pain they would have caused. You can't learn to fall off a 20-foot ladder after all. So anytime Hardy took a leap of faith, there was only one way down. It went beyond just selling for Hardy. He took so much punishment to entertain audiences that there is no way the people could ever boo him. Jeff had us concerned for his health countless times, and despite his ups and downs, the charismatic enigma remains a fan favorite to this day. Oh! No, no! No! Oh! 
Number five, Dolph Ziggler. One of the ways Dolph put himself on the map was by how he bumped around the ring. Could be totally wasted. Oh, wow! His high work rate style has treated us to plenty of top quality matches over the years. Many of which featured Ziggler taking and selling moves tremendously. Making him an absolute pleasure to watch. Seamus able to hold on! Put this away quick! Number four, Rob Van Dam. RVD helped change the wrestling business with an innovative style that was truly one of a kind. RVD. Van Dam also sold moves like no one else. Same thing he did oh, no, no, no. The way he would bump and almost contort his body made it look like he'd been involved in a car wreck. Now, look out here. German suplex. Rob's selling of the pile driver and the DDT was especially brutal. Van Damme even sold the effects of his own moves, including the five-star frog splash. There it is! Five star frog splash! A move where no one got higher and no one sold better than the whole effing show. Don't do it! Ah! Number three, Brock Lesnar. Despite not being a fan of wrestling growing up, Brock was a natural for the business. He picked things up incredibly quickly, and this included his ability to sell. Despite being such a dominant beast for most of his career, Lesnar was still able to make his opponents look like a million bucks when the time was right. Brock selling during his SummerSlam 2003 match with Kurt Angle deserves a special mention. Lesnar's selling went from strength to strength during his second run with the WWE, and continues to be a highlight of Brock's matches. Look at the pain on the face of the beast. Oh, 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 Daniel Bryan with a really name. Oh, pitch Daniel Bryan. Oh, oh, his his leg gave out. out. His leg gave out. And now look at the S line. No. There's the stop to Lester. The percent. Another stop. A third. A trifecta. Number two, Mick Foley. Foley took more punishment than probably any wrestler in history. We all know about the most insane stunts Mick went out of his way to do. But it was also the in-between spots that Foley went above and beyond for. Oh, God. Oh, God. The hangman made it look like he would decapitate himself on the ropes every time. Doing this also lost Mick a part of his ear during a match with Vader in Germany. The Nastia plunge and elbow drop to the floor were moves no wrestler in sane mind should have ever taken. Foley was also known for the unique way he bumped into the seal steps and went over the barricade. Uh, oh, man! <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> While most wrestlers strive to make their work look real, with Foley there was no question. No! No! Oh, my! Number one. Bret Hart. When you think of selling as an art form, there was perhaps no greater artist than Bret the Hitman Hart. Some of Bret's most memorable sells came any time he was whipped into the turnbuckle. Hart made it look as though his chest had caved in every time he did this bump. Oh, boy, did he hit. And this has since led to numerous wrestlers using the spot in their matches as a tribute to the Hitman. And Dax Harwood both looking to advance. The excellence of execution was so good at selling he was able to get himself over in the process, as few others were able to get sympathy from the fans like Brett could. Brett made it a point to make everything he did look real. It's not even 94 when he beat Yokozuna. And the way he sold was no exception. Whether it was through his facials or how he reacted to a wrestler's offense, Brett knew how to get his opponent over. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our similar video on the top 10 oversellers in wrestling history. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.